I am Faisal Subah and I am here today to talk to you about uh, Muna Hatoum, the famous Arab artist. First of all, let me tell you what we are learning today specifically about her. We have uh, four points. Firstly, uh, early life. Uh, I'll talk about uh, her early life and how she grew up in an Arab family living as refugees in the UK. Secondly, we have art, uh, artistic uh, evolution uh, about her career and how uh, su successful she became by her own and why did uh, she choose to become an artist. Thirdly, uh, we have artworks. I will discuss some of her famous artworks and her exhibitions around the world. Uh, lastly, uh, we have Hatoum in quotes. I'll read some of her famous quotes that she believes in. Muna's early life, uh, Hatoum was born in Beirut to Palestinian family in 1952. Muna Hatoum was born in 1952 in Beirut, Lebanon to Palestinian parents. She is the youngest of three siblings. Her parents had previously left their home in Haifa due to political unrest in 1948 and come to Beirut to start a new life. The couple's children were not, however, eligible for Lebanese uh, identification cards at birth. Due to political uh, decision to isolate uh, Palestinian families, uh, uh, exi exiled in Lebanon and uh, in turn to uh, prevent uh, their integration w within Lebanese society. Although she was born in Lebanon, Hatoum was illegible for a Lebanese uh, identity card and does not identify as Lebanese. As a result, Hatoum identifies herself Muna Hatoum was born in 1952 in Beirut, uh, Beirut, Lebanon, to Palestinian parents. She is the youngest of three siblings, and her parents had previously left their home in Haifa due to political unrest in 1948 and come to Beirut uh, to start a new life. The couple's uh, children were not, however, eligible for Lebanese identity identification cards at birth. Due to political uh, decisions to isolate Palestinian families uh, exiled in Lebanon and in turn to prevent their integration with the Lebanese society. Although she was born in Lebanon, Hatoum was illegible for a Lebanese uh, identity card and does not identify as Lebanese. As a result, Hatoum identifies herself as Palestinian, not as Lebanese, due to the Arab-Israeli war. Her father found a job at the British Embassy in Beirut, and as a matter of uh, pre uh, precaution and clever forward thinking, he obtained British passports for himself, his wife, and uh, his uh, three daughters. As she grew up, her family did not support her desire to pursue art. In general, Hatoum's parents were not supportive uh, for her early uh, love of art to, uh, and desire to make a career as an artist. Uh, despite this, Hatoum would continue to draw and doodle in her uh, school books. There were no art classes available as such, so Hatoum spent lots of time studying European paintings from books independently. She continued to draw throughout her childhood, childhood though illustrating her uh, work from poetry and science classes. As she said in her interview with Bomb, uh, Bomb Magazine with uh, Jenny and uh, Anthony, 1998, uh, although she was born in Lebanon, her family is Palestinian 
and like the majority of uh, Palestinians who became refugees in Lebanon. After 1948, because of because of the Palestinian war, uh, that was a war fought in the territory of uh, Palestine under the British uh, mandate. It is known in Israel as the War of Indep uh, Independence. They were never able to obtain uh, Lebanese identity cards. It was one way of uh, discouraging them from uh, integrating into the Lebanese uh, situation. When she went to London in 1975 for what was meant to be a brief visit, she got uh, stranded uh, there because the war broke out in Lebanon and forced to remain in England as war broke out in Lebanon in 1975 and that uh, created uh, a kind of uh, dislocation which many, uh, manifests itself in her work. Muna's early life, uh, education and early uh, training. <coughs> education and early training. She studied uh, graphic design at the Beirut College for Women in the 1970s <coughs> for two years. Nowadays it is called the Lebanese American University. Hatoum stayed in London and embarrassed the opportunity to study and uh, pursue her art. Between 90, uh, 1975 and, and 1981, she studied at uh, both the Bayam Shaw School of Art and the Slade School of Fine, Fine Art. Hatoum joined feminist groups and gained a taste for political deba debate amongst her peers. Her work during the university years was also uh, praised and linked to cons uh, conceptual art and uh, minimalism. Uh, Hatoum uh, uh, commented at the time that the Slade University said my uh, conceptual st st stuff was so da dangerous about her artwork and uh, with that she moved uh, towards experiments and uh, performance only to return uh, to con uh, conceptual uh, sculptures later in her career. Performance provided Hatoum with a sense of liberty having felt generally uh, confined by the strict rules of British art schools. She was always uh, bursting to uh, rebel and real gain uh, boundaries. <coughs> During this time, Hatoum was renting a studio in uh, uh, Shoreditch and as well as creating performance pieces, she was making lots of uh, expressive drawings that she would co complete and then immediately give away. After finishing her education at the Slade University, the young artist considered moving to the U.S. However, her sister uh, convinced her otherwise uh, uh, and she remained in London and supported herself financially by teaching part-time at uh, Central St. Martin's uh, College. Muna's early life, uh, who is she uh, nowadays? Who is she now, uh, nowadays? Hatoum nowadays uh, challenges the movements of uh, minimalism, making work which uh, explores the conflicts of our world. Uh, and her studies at the Slade School of Art conceded with de uh, develop, uh, developing ideas around gender and race. And she began to explore the relationship between uh, politics and the individual through performance. In the late 19, in, uh, 1980s, uh, she began to make uh, installations and uh, sculptures in a wide range of materials. These often use the grid or geometric forms to reference to systems of control within society. 
she has uh, made a number of works using household objects which are uh, scaled up or uh, changed to make them familiar. Hatum made uh, a piece specifically to show at the Andenial uh, Gallery called uh, Present Tense uh, 1996, which also t uh, tellingly reveals her emotions on the Israeli Palestinian conflict. The gallery is uh, situated in East Jerusalem, an area taken over by Israel after the 1967 war. She made the work by pressing small red beads that mark out a map into 2,400 pieces of nebulous soap, uh, a traditional Palestinian product made of uh, olive oil. The lines can appear abst uh, abstract at first, but they in fact uh, uh, depict parts of occupied Palestinian uh, territory that Palestinians believe Israel should have handed back to the Palestine, Palestinian authority. Hadoum chooses to omit Israel from the map and to only feature the occupied uh, territories. Uh, between London and Berlin. Berlin. Hatum bought an apartment in Berlin and now uh, divides her time between this residence and her home in London. She married uh, Gary Collins in uh, 2012. In 2016, uh, the Tate held a large uh, retrospective looking back over the 35 years of her work. Following this large uh, exhibition, she was awarded the 10th Hiroshima Art Prize by the Hiroshima City Museum of Contemporary Art. This uh, accolade uh, culminated in Hatom's first exhibition at the White Cube Gallery in Hong Kong. In uh, 2018, she was awarded the fifth annual Art Icon Award from the White Chapel uh, Gallery. Artistic uh, Evolution Themes of uh, uh, entrapment, threat, and uh, vul uh, vulnerability are central uh, Hatoum's art. Uh, referencing everyday objects like uh, Birchner and uh, kitchen objects, she is influenced by uh, her Palestinian identity as well as by uh, minimalism. Uh, Hatoum also uses her body to explore the line between attraction and uh, repulsion from making a film of her uh, intestines with endoscope camera to using her hair to sculptures she worked mostly with a performance and video until 1988 the work uh, of uh, Muna Hatoum represents a uh, resistance to uh, cartographies of power based on its uh, commitment to uh, trauma exile. The title Hotspot 2013 refers to the term hotspot meaning a place of military or civil unrest using delicate red and neon to outline the contours of the uh, contents this sculpture uh, present, presents uh, the entire globe as a dangerous Greater Divide uh, 2012 uh, mimics a room divider like those used in changing rooms or hospitals. You'll quite uh, quickly notice, however, that this object is a uh, six feet cheese greater. The piece is both uh, comical and sinister. Strangely graceful as a sculpture, sculpture, sculpture uh, piece, the holes in the kitchen utensil are relatively harmless, but scaled up to these proportions, they became threatening and potentially harmful. Hatum and quotes. Often the work is about conflict and uh, contradiction, and that conflict or contradiction can be within the actual object. Tate Schultz, 2011. I've always had a quiet relibus 
and contrary attitude the more i feel i am being pushed into a mold the more i feel like going to the opposite direction bomb magazine with jenny antony 1998 my favorite uh, way of working is to go and spend time in the place i am exhibiting in and make uh, work locally i feel much more inspired when i uh, when I can work with people and materials that I find in that location. Miserius by Nell 2015 Thank you for your attention and I hope that you found Hatoum's life